Hog, dice, you know the drill. Okay, let's go. Today is the first day of Dyspraxia Awareness Week. What is dyspraxia? Dyspraxia is a neurological disability that I have. Dyspraxia affects your gross motor coordination, which is large movements, and your fine motor coordination, which is smaller movements. Dyspraxia affects my fine motor coordination far more than it affects my gross motor coordination, which is why my handwriting has not improved one bit since the day I first learned to write when I was a small child. It's totally illegible. Just, just don't even try. Dyspraxia can also affect other things like your ability to uh, process certain stimuli. It can make you undersensitive to certain things or oversensitive to other things. It makes sequencing anything, including bolts, extremely difficult. And it can make you very scatterbrained and forgetful. There's also a whole host of what I like to refer to as plugins for dyspraxia, many of which are contradictory and different people will be born with different ones. I, for example, have dyscalculia, which gives me a lot of trouble with numbers. Not with mathematical principles. I understand formulae just fine. I understand how to do algebra. It's just once we introduce the numbers themselves, the actual symbols, they throw me off. It's, it's not quite like dyslexia, but with numbers, but that's the closest explanation I can come up with. However, I knew, um, I knew a dyspraxic woman who could figure out square roots of large numbers in her head as a partial result of her dyspraxia because it affected us both in somewhat different ways. One of the difficulties I've had with dyspraxia that isn't actually part of the dyspraxia itself is that nobody knows what it is. If you have autism and you tell someone, I am autistic, they will go, oh, autism, okay. Or if you have dyslexia, they will go, ah, I know what dyslexia is. If you tell most people you're dyspraxic, the responses you get are along the lines of, you're making that word up, that doesn't exist. Or, do you mean dyslexia? Or, dyspraxia, what's that? Which can get a little frustrating because even with, even though most people don't understand autism or dyslexia very well, they have some kind of vague idea of what it does and what it is and how it affects people. In terms of representation, there is, well, not nothing. There, there's, there, there's nothing, not in books or movies or TV shows or comics. Like, occasionally, yeah, okay, sometimes you'll see a little pamphlet about dyspraxia. They'll have a little comic strip with characters who have dyspraxia. But these are only supposed to be read by people with dyspraxia and their fucking family members. It's not really representation. That doesn't count. And, like, there are celebrities with dyspraxia. Daniel Radcliffe, who played Harry Potter. He's dyspraxic. If you've ever wondered why Florence from Florence and the Machine always seems like she's about to fall over when she's dancing, now you know why. She's dyspraxic. She probably is about to fall over when she's dancing. We're all always about to fall over when we're dancing. That, and not even just when we're dancing. We're all always about to fall over. That's, that's just our base state of being, about to fall over. Even though both of these two have talked about their dyspraxia quite openly in interviews and things when asked, it's still not brought as much awareness to the situation as it could, to the condition as it could. And then, the other day, I read an article saying that one of the new companions in the new season of Doctor Who is going to be dyspraxic. The character's name is Ryan. He's played by Tosin Cole. And I was just... I was so happy. I cried. I'm not going to lie to you. I openly wept. It was like a salty little fucking waterfall. Because... I have never seen myself represented explicitly before, never seen 
someone who is supposed to be having my experience portrayed in television or a movie or anything as someone for me to relate to. And the fact that I'm getting that as a main character in one of the most popular shows in the world is huge. It's gigantic. And the fact that it is premiering today, in fact, you will probably have already watched it before watching this, on the first day of Dyspraxia Awareness Week, which is a Sunday, when Doctor Who is traditionally on on Saturdays, does not feel like a coincidence, it feels planned, and it feels like a deliberate attempt to, to, to bring more awareness to Dyspraxia in Dyspraxia Awareness Week. Yeah. And on top of that, on top of that, the, the actor, Tosin Cole, is black. I think a lot of people tend to forget that people of color, and black people in particular, can have neurological disabilities, and that people with neurological disabilities can be people of color or black in particular. Which is ridiculous, by the way. Of, of course white people aren't the only one, uh, ones affected by neurological disabilities. That's a ridiculous idea. But it's doing so much to bring awareness not only to disability, but to do it in an intersectional way. And I don't feel like any of this is a coincidence. I feel like this is all very clearly thought out by by Chris Chibnall and the other people running Doctor Who currently. And I just want to say, in the unlikely event that any of them see this, that this gets out beyond about 200 people, that's where my views tend to max out. Just on the off chance that anyone involved in running Doctor Who this season sees this, thank you. Fucking thank you. I appreciate it a great deal, as you can see all over my face. That, that's, that's appreciation. Thank you.